Whoa! What the heck, man? Whoa, whoa, Bandit, did you just try to eat the lobster? Jeez, holy. What's going on, everyone? So, the video you're gonna see was shot a week ago. Very sorry for the inconvenience and not being able to get it uploaded and edited and uploaded. Uh, but if, for those of you who were uh, watching the live stream or who have watched the live stream after it was done, you'll know why. For those of you who are just tuning in, check out the live stream to get updated after this video so that way you see exactly what was going on through everything. For those of you who are already subscribed to the channel, if you didn't watch the live stream, you need to tune into that and check it out to get updated on everything because as you see, the 200 gallon is completely empty. Still gotta get the rest of the sand and a little bit of water out of it and figure out what exactly needs to be done to salvage this tank. Behind me, everything's doing good. We've got the quarantine tanks moved. Um, we got a sponge filter now for the 30 gallon tank instead of the hang on the back. So that'll reduce a lot of the salt creep and all the water splash and all that stuff. Got a lid put on it as well. Nice and cut out, got a little slot over there to feed them. 10 gallons moved. We got the powder blue tang in quarantine because he broke out with ick. Also caused the purple tang to get ick and then caused a few of the fish and the display tank to get I think it was, I don't know, I just, I dosed it with polyp lab just to be safe, that way nothing broke out. Hit it early, because if you let it go too long, polyp lab ain't gonna work. I hit it very early, everyone's looking great, so the display tank is doing awesome, doing very amazing. And you'll see that in these clips. Um, actually, I'll take you out there before this video gets started, just to show you that everyone's doing great, and to show you where the freshwater fish still are. So. Let's go check that out real quick and we get one more look at everyone in here. But yeah, the tragedy lasted a week. Basically, it was almost exactly seven days that this went on. Um, I'll take that back. Probably five days as far as the fish go and then other things set in. But anyways, let's go check this out. So as y'all see, everyone here in the new, well I say new tank, in the 250 gallon tank that was originally my cichlid tank. It's now a saltwater tank. They're doing great. Everyone survived the transfer. I almost lost all the trigger fish. I had them in a bucket. Um, we were transfer. I was transferring air stone from bucket to bucket because I had the uh, grouper and the lionfish in a bucket. And well, and then Pennywise was in the same bucket as them too because he didn't come out of his rock. But I had everyone else in a different bucket. I had the shark. I had the fox face, the damsels, the other three trigger fish, and the puffers in a different bucket. And I got caught up doing stuff on the tank, went back in there to go look at them, and noticed that all my trigger fish were basically dead. Laid over sideways. Some of them weren't even hardly breathing, like I barely the gills were moving. So immediately I just took them out and put them inside the 55 gallon. That way, I knew that uh, they get oxygen and all the water parameters were good. Didn't care if they transferred anything into that tank because I could fix it very easily. All that stuff could come out and all those can be quarantined very easily. Didn't want anyone to die. That was the main thing. So, they all survived. I didn't lose anyone. But, main issue is now we have all the freshwater fish in these little teeny 30 gallon and 40 gallon tanks. We got Jackie over here. At least she's eating, but she was getting beat up by Sassy and the Red Terror. But now the Red Terror... I guess is freaked out because Sassy's a boss. But we also have the freshwater moray and my electric blue jack Dempsey inside that little tank. Everyone's doing good. I still got this FX6 hooked up so we can get some serious filter flow in there. We only have this little hang on the back, which is not going to cut it. So I still need to get a clamp to clamp this down to where this return is not going to fly out when I turn that filter on. So that is what that is. And then we have the turtle tank over here, who is also overpacked right now. We have both the hybrids in there, and we have the turtle, and there's also two Raphael catfish inside that 40 gallon tank. But we do have the FX6 hooked up on that one. That one's up and running. Everything's good. So we don't really have to worry about that one, and no one's getting beat up in there, except for the fact that those hybrids like to pick on my turtle shell for some reason. They like to eat the, the flakes off of it. I don't know. Anyways, so there we are with all that. So let's get right to the video. What's up, everyone? Tragedy, travesty, 
tear, just whatever you want to call it, left and right. I can't catch a break. Saturday morning I woke up to seven dead fish in my freshwater tank. My puffer, my fire eel, my geophagus, two of my African cichlids, um, and two of my red terrors. I, I cried like a baby. Cried like a baby. I can't explain it. Something happened overnight. Don't know what. I don't know, something malfunctioned. No idea. I did a water change that afternoon. Fish were doing fine. Go to bed, and I have seven dead fish. So, here we are today. Well, yesterday. Today's Monday. Yesterday, I came home from my mom's from helping her, or working on her house, and fixing her faucet, to a leaking 250 gallon fish tank. Yep, so the overflows that I patched before I set this tank up starting to leak on that side. I don't know if they're leaking on this side. I haven't noticed anything on this side, but we're going to have to do both sides because we're not going to take a chance. I'm going to do a total tank breakdown to do this. It's on the bottom of the tank. I tried using the JB Waterwell. JB Waterwell did not work. So, back to square one. Y'all stay tuned for the rest of it. We got the tank drain, the fish are out. I was already inside of it, had to move the sand out of the way. Now I've got to scrape that patch off, get a measurement on it, head to the plumbing store and go get some uh, plugs. So that's where we are right now. Whole tank's broken down, fish are in buckets and I have a couple fish over here because they didn't like, they like the bucket. My eel is over here. So. Hopefully I can get this done before the end of the day because it's my daughter's birthday today. I'm gonna take her to do something. Hopefully we can get this taken care of and uh, won't have any issues, but hopefully it'll go smoothly. We'll see how this is. So y'all stay tuned, don't miss nothing. Peace. Oh. All right, everyone, water's going back in the tank. I've got some bulkheads put in here and I have got ball valves on them. That way, if I ever want to do a water change, probably make it really simple to do a water change if I want to. I'm just gonna keep an eye on this, make sure it don't leak, cause you never know what might happen. So just keep your fingers crossed that everything is good to go. We don't have any issues. We can get the fish back in the tank and I can start restocking this tank after the tragedy that I had Saturday. <coughs> Losing seven fish to something I can't explain, I have no idea. Um, drove around all day today. I don't know, probably six different places to find stuff that I needed. Last place I went and had what I needed, I should have went there first. It was one of the fish stores, had the bulkheads that I needed. I should have, you know, went and done that to begin with, but I figured I could find something that would have worked at Home Depot or something a little cheaper, but definitely didn't. But let me get in here, I gotta get some stuff out of this tank. I got some metal in here, I got some paper. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll be back when everything's said and done, the fish are back in the tank. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's the next day after I have completed the new bulkheads on the tank, or the new patch job, put bulkheads in it, on the 250. Everyone, well, everyone, I've only got four fish left in here besides my ill. So I've got my ill and four cichlids and then two Raphael catfish, but everybody that's in here right now is doing fine. So, real quick on the update of why there's only that many fish in here. Like I told y'all at the beginning of this video, I think, uh, I had a tragedy overnight on Saturday or Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, water change Friday afternoon. Everybody's doing great. Hours and hours go by. Nighttime comes. I go to get in bed, I go to sleep, I wake up the next day, I have seven fish dead. I don't know why, how I can't explain it. So anybody that asks me what happened, what I do, I can't tell you, didn't do anything different. The only thing I did was use Amquel instead of Prime, but I still used the water conditioners like I'm supposed to, and it definitely wasn't from chlorine, I, I don't know. I, I really have no clue, but we have the new bulkheads put in and I can also drain this tank, do water changes uh, through these bulkheads as well. Um, I would have to move a bunch of sand, but you know, it's not really the way that I'm gonna do the water changes, but if I wanted to do it that way, I could. Uh, this particular one right here did have a leak this morning. It was dripping very slowly. It hadn't even hit the ground yet. 
So I tightened it up before I went to work this morning. Came home on break to get the fish, as y'all seen on the short. And it wasn't dripping, but it had a, it was just slightly wet around the seal. So I wiped it down, tightened down a little bit more. I just came home after about another, let's see, five hours. And it just had one small spot where it was wet. So I just wiped that down and tightened it down just a little bit more. So keep your fingers crossed that we don't have any issues. One good thing about it is that it is not leaking fast enough to drip on the ground. It's evaporating before it gets to that point. So if it is leaking like that, that small of a leak, that's not something I gotta worry about. I just gotta keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get worse. Other than that, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thanks for watching. It's a terrible video that I had to make. Uh, I'm really sorry that I didn't do a video of the day of the fish incident, but it was it was too disturbing to make a video about, and I was crying like a baby. So, anyways, thanks y'all. Love y'all. Peace.